All I right. played Dragon Link at the Tulsa Regionals, and uh, this is my list. So, hand traps. I got a uh, gamma package. Um, two ash blossoms. Um, two ghost ogre. And two Nibiru. Oh, and, why two of everything? Um, for well, for this, I didn't really know what I was going to be playing up against. Um, so my side deck is kind of crafted around siding in a third or siding out two, oh, okay. something like that. So gotcha, gotcha. this is how I decided to make the hand trap lineup. Oh, uh, what did you face? Regional. Like, what matchups did you actually um, wind up having? My first matchup was against Sword Soul and I got waxed. Um, I didn't even see a hand trap that game at all. Uh, second matchup was against Live Twin, and um, that matchup, he saw all of the hand traps and hand trapped me to death. And then it was Fluanderies and uh, Dude Open D Shifter Dark Ruler. Two games in a row. That was pretty whack, and then I got a buy. <laughs> And then I got a buy. Then I played against my buddy Chris, who was playing Orcist. We both played against Chris? Yeah, I played against Chris right after you. Jeez. And uh, he, he beat me because I forgot to search my boot sector. And I just couldn't play after that because I was, I was playing under the assumption that I had it in my hand, but I forgot to grab it uh, while I was in my deck. And then I had a draw against Drytron. And that was the funnest match of the day, surprisingly. I hate Drytron, but it was great. Uh, and then I played against Elblitch and dropped. But uh, anyway, the deck did do well. It was just like every time that I tried to do something, my opponent had like a, a D shifter or like some kind of hand trap or some kind of way to answer every single card in my hand. Um, and the Brave Engine goes burn. Um, so for the Rockets though, three Tracer, two Synchron, uh, one Recharger. You can't play two Tracer because that's not enough, and you need three, even though three is kind of too many. Um, and two Synchron is perfect. And then two Absa Router, because um, to dis discard this for Dragon Ravine is just kind of nutty. Um, and then three Quick Launch, and the Boot Sector, and the Dragon Ravine. This whole engine is what you need to get rockets either in your hand or on the field. And then, you know, Chaos Ruler goes burr, so. It's probably the most important part of the deck. The Chaos Engine is too safer. I only own two, but uh, it doesn't play around Droll as well as other cards in the deck do, so I only chose to play two anyways. And then the three space, um, Baby Dragons, and Levy. Um, honestly, I didn't get Drolled like once the whole day, so I probably would go back and put in a third safer, but other than that, I mean, all of these cards just kind of go burr together. And then the extra dragon cards that I have are the three black metal and the red MD. Because you, you need more than, like, three strong normal summons for the deck. Or else you're going to find yourself with a lot of hands where you're like, damn, I have a quick launch and four hand traps and I can't play. Um, two Nocto, there's three's too many. Distrudo and Fairy Tail Snow. Um... Snow is insane for this deck because, like, the main inboard is going to be Savage and Hieratic Seal. Uh, so being able to throw on the snow as, like, an extra layer of interruption is kind of crazy. Like, you can really just, like, bait out interruptions. Like, I have snow in my graveyard in my Drytron matchup, and my opponent forgot about it. So I started my turn by flipping his Baron face down, and then I just played and won that game. Um, and it's never a brick in your hand because, like, you have, like, three or four different discard outlets. Like you have Chaos Space to discard it because it's a light. You have Dragon Ravine to discard it to go down to Absaroutor and search a rocket. It's just kind of insane. Like I'm, I've never bricked on Snow or Distrudo. Um, that's going to be the whole main deck though. Uh, it was 42 cards and honestly I, I bricked like maybe twice the whole day. But yeah, it was fine. Um, extra deck. I play four Synchros. Hot Red, Savage Dragon, Pepega Ruler, and Shooting Riser. Um, you make Shooting Riser with Distrudo. Usually if you open like um, Absarouter Dragon, you can go for the Dragon Ravine and then dump the Absarouter and then from your hand and then dump the Distrudo. 
and then you can search a rocket off of the Absa router, so you like just plus like twice off of Dragon Ravine that way. So it makes Shooting Riser like really free, and then you can use Shooting Riser to dump snow, or like Token Collector, or something like that. So all of these synchros just kind of go burr. Um, links, access code, and Boral Sword for the Link 4s. You kind of just need both of those, because sometimes this one can kill your opponent, but this one can't, and the other way around. Unicorn, um, Dark, and IP. These four here are all for breaking boards, and this one is just for, like, being able to make Unicorn on your opponent's turn and just make their life hard. And then for the Dragon cards, um, the Romulus, Quad Boral, um, this card put in work, and then Two Seal. A lot of people have switched to one, but two is better um, for when you have to go into the grind game. And then one Pisty and one Striker Dragon. Um, I worked on the ratios for the extra deck for a really long time, and that is what I came up with. And I'm very satisfied with the extra deck. I was playing the Zombie Vampire for a little bit. Um, it's like the rank 8 from Battle of Chaos. It makes your opponent mill four cards and then you can special summon one. But like I only ever went for it when I was already winning. So it was like, why not just make access code? And then the side deck. Um, it's three Lancia, two Bell, and then these are the one odds I was talking about. Token Collector, I only own one, but you can dump it off of Snow, or not Snow, you can dump it off of Shooting Riser, and then it's live during your opponent's turn. Uh, the third Nib, and the third Ghost Ogre. Um, I really did like all of these cards being in the side deck at the ratios that they are, except for, like, I had one or two rounds where I felt like I didn't have enough cards to side in when I was going first. Um, Dark Ruler and uh, Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, both of these did their job. And then Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend, because I was determined to not lose in time. Um, and I did side this in like twice. Um, and then one time I had a draw against Drytron, and then the other time I just ended up flat losing. Um, but yeah, pretty much that was the side deck, that was the main deck. The deck kind of just went burr. Is there anything you would change? Uh, the things I would change is, like I said, I'd probably put more going first cards in the side deck um, and maybe like refine my hand trap ratios in the main deck. So like I felt like I had a lot of variety for stuff um, so that I could constantly see like two hand traps. Like I could see like Nib and Gamma or Nib and Ogre or something like that. But um, a lot of times, like I had two or three matchups where I did just not have enough going first cards and I was left with like a gamma in hand and my opponent just wasn't letting me gamma them. Uh, or like I had a nib and I was going up against Flanderies, so I had to side out the Nibirus, but it's like, well, what do I have to side in for that? So I probably just changed the side deck mainly um, in the main deck. The main deck was fine. I really liked it. I might have just thrown in like three extra cards. I probably, if I had it, would play DPE because um, the deck already has like so many bricks. You can pretty much just go to like 45 or 48 cards and not really worry about it. So like easily, like I could just put in DPE and take out like the second seal and the pisty, and instantly the deck just kind of gets a little bit better. But um, that's probably all I would change.